the goddess is higher intelligence, particularly the creative intelligence, which is in the womb. And the master of this goddess energy, or the god, the uh, the most powerful goddess who represents the womb energy, is Mother Mary. And so who had an immaculate conception. Okay. Immaculate conception is new to the Christian tradition, but not to the Indian tradition. There is in the Mahabharata, this woman, uh, Kunti, who is a queen, and she was given a blessings from a guru who visited the palace and gave mantras to have immaculate conception through the most powerful beings, the sun god. So she could use the sun god's mantra and become pregnant and then have a baby. Karna is his name. Or the king of gods in the heaven is Indra. And she, she was given a mantra to do that. And she had a son. And he was Arjuna, who, to whom the Bhagavad Gita was taught by Krishna. So we are going to teach a lot of techniques of how the womb chakra of Mary was responsible for the resurrection of Christ. This is new information. She is the mother of God. What a beautiful term. She is the mother of God. She literally is. The womb chakra is the most powerful chakra for creation. Mother Mary needs to be worshipped as the womb chakra. The womb chakra is not only in a female, the chakra is also in a male. During the process, I will give you how to activate the womb chakra and connect with Mary. It is a forgotten knowledge. And I will be introducing you to the womb chakra as it is understood within the Indian tradition and also in the life of Mother Mary. She is uh, the master of creation. Because he creates, she, cre she was responsible for holding the most powerful energy of, of, of Jesus Christ in her womb. And the creation that the goddess does is different from man-made creation because she lives in a timeless zone. And how the Kali is a goddess of time. The one thing that I will teach during this period is how we disrespect time. And all our money problems are due to disrespect to time. And the goddess is very upset with, with the disrespect shown to time. How do we disrespect time? We don't care. We just want to have fun in the name of 
you know, indulging in unconscious thinking, unconscious activities, resulting in the insult of time. If you insult time, you insult money because my, there is a very close relationship between money and time. Everybody is paid for time. And time in, decides everything, including the presidency, is ending now. That because the time is ending. And how can you understand time better through the goddess? Hmm? Time is responsible for manifestation. That's why it takes 10 months time. But a divine child can be born in a fraction of a second. Instantaneous manifestation is possible. And that is the goddess Varahi and Bala. The, I, will, I will teach mantras for both the goddesses during the time. Varahi is the boar uh, headed uh, goddess. And she moves faster than light. Bala also moves faster than light. Uh, it would be 350,000 miles per second. What does that mean? If you have that kind of consciousness, which is controlled by the goddess, then you would not want to wait at the end of the month to get paid. In the Vedas, there is a him to the fire. Fire, you know how to create platinum, you know how to create gold and and then can you give me a boon? I want money every day. Agni Nath Raheem Masnabad Osham Yeva Dibidibe Yashasam Viravatamam I want money every day. And there are people now you see who are making money in, in every second, like Amazon or Facebook or Microsoft, because they, by nature, because of their previous uh, experimentation with the goddess, they got into that consciousness. So, Bala is a nine-year-old goddess and, and she and Varahi, they move at tremendous speed and they are goddesses that who can do miracles. Bala will do miracles. And so is Varahi. So I will give you the mantras and chants that you may want to use during the time to get their energy. So resulting in a very conscious life. 